The Panama Canal was once described as the eighth wonder of the world. It took a long 10 years to complete, from 1904 to 1914. It has saved many lives with the safer ocean passage, but its construction took many lives, 25,000 of them. Those who survived only earned a few silver coins a day. They were the silver people. Mateo is only 14, but he is on a steamship headed to Panama to begin working on the famous canal. There is no food on the steamship, so he is happy to finally hit land after three days on the sea. Back home in Cuba, the Americans promised food, money, and a beautiful place to stay while in Panama. He remembers the pamphlets they handed out with pictures of lacy curtains, flowers and vases, and plates heaped with food. So much food. He also remembers how the recruiters did not want islanders to come to Panama. Only semi-white Europeans, they shouted. Mateo was glad to be away from his angry father and poverty-stricken homeland. Mateo steps off the ship. Wait, this isn't what he expected. Why are they measuring him for a coffin? Mateo was not ready for what's to come. Mateo, along with other canal workers, is going to face the harsh realities of hard work and persecution. There's only a few things that he enjoys. Boxing in the ring every Sunday and talking to the herb girl. Henry is a Jamaican, which means he is on the lowest work group. Because of his dark skin, he has the lowest amount of pay, the worst place to stay, 80 men to a room, and he doesn't even get to sit down for lunch. Henry is angry, but determined to earn enough money for his family to buy some land back in Jamaica. Anita loves her home country of Panama. She has lived in the jungle ever since her parents abandoned her as a baby. She sells herbs to heal others. As she gets older, she has been coming out of the jungle to talk to other people more. When Anita realizes her forest is being cleared out for the canal, and the laborers are torturing her jungle animals for mere entertainment, she knows something needs to be done. How will these three lives collide? Will Mateo survive his back-breaking work? Will Henry make it back to his family? Will Anita be able to save the forest and her precious animals? Let three young people, Mateo, Henry, and Anita, tell you their stories in the historic novel, Silver People, Voices from the Panama Canal, by Marguerite Engel.